Hey guys, I wanted to walk through a quick tip, which is creating an aggregate device. Um, I have a video on this already, but it was kind of specific to doing some Skype recordings. So I want to make one that's a little more general. Um, this is for Mac only. I know there is a way to do it on PC. I just don't have one to test it out and record a walkthrough for. So this tutorial is going to be for Mac users only. Um, first things first, we need to find audio MIDI setup. Two ways to do that. You can do a spotlight search for it, or you can also go to your applications folder and go under utilities and you will find it there as well. Uh, so in this app here, you can see I already have a few devices here created. Basically anything that's an audio device or a MIDI device is going to show up on the left hand side here. So you'll, uh, if your microphone is plugged in, you should see all your options here and you can even see Soundflower, uh, some, some background things like that that I use. So uh, hit the plus sign here, create aggregate device, and feel free to name it whatever you want. Uh, let's just say, let's say for example, you're gonna try to plug in two ATRs, USB to your computer, and you wanna use them simultaneously. So we'll just name it two ATR 2100s for right now. Um, so it's very simple. Basically, you have your device created, and what you want to do, you have uh, the options of all the possible devices that are on your computer right now. And you just check whichever one of ones of those you want to use simultaneously. So uh, my Motu Traveler, that's my interface. So maybe you have a, a mixer or you have a uh, the Focusrite Scarlet. So that it would show up as that. Let's say I want to combine that with Soundflower. Boom. That's it. Now they're combined. Now you can use this new device as, let me actually uncheck the mode too. I'm going to use the built-in microphone and built-in output just so there's not, you know, 40 channels running around there. Um, so that's pretty much all you have to do. Now they're selected. They're all part of your aggregate device. One thing you want to check is where the inputs and outputs are going to be assigned. Now, sub-devices up here, they're color-coded by what we've selected and you can see the input channels and output channels and you can rearrange these as you see fit. So I'm gonna slide over the built-in output that way they're lined up. So now we have built-in is assigned to one and two, built-in output is dis assigned to one and two out, and then Soundflower, three and four in, and three and four out. So if you do the ATR 2100s, they're gonna show up the same way. You're gonna have input and output one, two, and one and two. And then when you sign the second ATR, you'll have three, four and three and four. That's pretty much it. Um, go inside your DAW. Don't use, don't use, don't use. I'm gonna just open a blank session in Logic. Um, you may be using GarageBand or Audacity or whatever, but just to make sure people are aware, um, if I set my audio device to this new option, times two ATR 2400, and this, I skipped over that because that might be different based on what your uh, your settings are. And I'll create another blank audio channel. Boom. Okay, so I have a stereo audio channel, one uh, and audio two. The first one, I'm going to set to inputs one and two. Second one, I'm going to set to inputs three and four. And that's it. Now, your DAW should only be showing you options for what is available. So the device that we created doesn't have any more than um, one input one and two and three and four. That's why these are all grayed out. So you shouldn't even have the option to, to select any of those at all. Um, so just focus on one, two, and then three and four. And then your two ATR mics can be used at the same time right now. Um, and that's how you are going to record with multiple USB mics at once. And that's it.